Hey guys, Neil here. We're going to go over soldering up a new trick jack to some canary cables so that you can make some really inexpensive but really high quality, long lasting, really ruggedly built uh, patch cables, instrument cables, whatever you need. So uh, let's get started. Okay, we're going to go through cutting off. I'm going to use just a normal serrated knife here. Um, I like serrated knives just because I think they do a better job than wire clippers for cutting uh, insulation for wiring. So you just want to come in here. First of all, we're going to measure, right? So we're probably only going to want that much exposed right there. That's fine. We're going to just use our thumbnail, mark it a little bit here. It's not exact science. And just start cutting away. So as you start cutting in here, you're going to feel it go from smooth as butter to a little bit of resistance. That means you've hit the metal. As you feel that little bit of tug there, you're going to just want to stop. Boop. Okay. Once you get that, you can see as I'm bending this back, right? Then we're just going to pull that off. So it exposes it just like that. All right. Next, once we've exposed the, uh, the braided copper shield here, we're going to want to get in here and start unraveling the shield. I just like to use the the knife in reverse again I'm just using like a kitchen knife that's kinda dull so don't be using something that's like razor sharp here leave uh, leave your surgical instruments for a different tool need uh, but once you go through here just gonna wanna go through here and just gently unbraid them right and this is kinda what we wind up after we've we've unbraided a lot of them see how I work the knife through here happy little braids sometimes you may lose some copper that's cool alright so once we've braided the saw and we get something that looks like this right so I've kinda just fold them over all into one side now I'm gonna take this I'm just going to twist it right so I get a nice little solid wire that's gonna sit real nice in there so we can braid that or we can solder that, sorry, solder that real easy. So we're going to want to come in here, repeat the same process. Again, it's okay if you have a little bit of longer stuff, right? So we're only going to need a tiny little nub. We can cut off the excess here on the braided shield. This is canned air cable. This has a little plastic, uh, I don't know what you call it, shield or whatever. It has this uh, tougher white insulation on the inside. Great stuff because it protects the inside and really makes these cables rugged. So I'm just coming through here. Lost a couple pieces of copper, but that's okay. I'm going to twist this up again. So now, we're all ready to solder. Right? Uh, let's look at the pieces. We've got the strain relief, the end piece, and then this. So it goes something like this, right? But something I've done before, <laughs> forgotten to put this on first. So make sure you're putting this through first. Otherwise, you're going to be a sad guy <laughs> or gal when you get through here and you say, ooh, wait a second. So uh, let's see here. We're going to put this through, right again, the strain relief. You can just slide that right through there like that, right? Easy stuff. This is again why I like this new trick jack. I think these things are awesome. I'm just going to use a uh, tissue box that I have sitting around. And I'm just going to use my knife here, make a hole in it, put none of my uh, office workers ask why there's a giant hole in the box right and then that holds it nice and steady you can use whatever you want all right let's get soldering I would recommend doing the middle part first as you can see here um, I just like doing that just because it holds it in there I just put enough solder to get a good bead in there float around you don't need tons I don't know if you guys can see it on the, uh, you'll see the solder start to flow outside 
right so it starts just covering everything it can melt through the plastic a little bit not a big deal smells that's the biggest problem so and just let it sit in there for a little bit see now it holds it this can air cable is also fairly uh, resilient as well as the new trick jack some some cheaper junky cables and junk junky cack or er, <laughs> some junky cables some junky jacks there you go say it three times fast um, they'll melt on you I've done that before so that's another reason why I personally like these guys you can go with whatever you want right but uh, so now prep it up for the next bit of soldering and again you don't need a ton of solder just enough to bond it to the side of things because this strain relief is going to do a great job of holding it there for us okay we're back we soldered up both sides we can twist them around a little bit feel that that's yeah sturdy connection right another thing I love these jacks see how it goes on nice and smooth right easy there good stuff grab our final piece right we're gonna assemble this like a so here's one thing to remember as you're twisting this on It'll kind of want to, because it's grabbing down here for extra strain relief, good stuff, good stuff, but you want to hold on to the cable down here, right, so that you're not twisting your cable as you twist on your cap. That's kind of tough, but you'll get it. You'll figure it out. So right here, I think, I think this could fit a little bit better. So we're going to undo this. We're going to pull it back pull the strain relief back a little bit and say hmm okay what about this guard right here maybe we can clip that where it has place to clip it All right so I'm just clipping this right here moving this extra little piece see if it'll work a little bit better There you go. Snug as a bug. Looks good, huh? Right? Solid, good flex protection. Love these things. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this uh, how to solder up your own cables thing. Uh, in my personal opinion, right, I haven't tried every cable out there, um, but I like Canary cables because I've been gigging for two years now with a, with a great band, Ghost in a Jar, little plug there, and uh, and these cables, I have stomped on these cables, I have tripped over these cables, I have done everything possible nasty. We've had the drummer and everyone probably uh, land their stuff on these cables, and they're great. They're awesome. Um, they're, they're really bulletproof, and they sound great. And so this will, uh, the cost of this cable, I have about a 10-foot length here, um, and the jacks are about... 250 each if you want right angle they're about 350 each four dollars something like that so I mean you know it's it's a little bit of money but for the average guy who's looking to uh, make a great cable you know this is like a 10 15 foot cable for about 10 bucks um, just make sure when you're buying them and shipping you know shipping I'll pay 10 bucks so it depends on where you buy it from uh, buying in bulk I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, and we'll see you later on more how to solder videos. I'm Neil Oler, signing off.